channel. My dog just sneezed. That's a weird intro. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel for the first time if this is your first time here. Hi, I'm Sam and this is kind of a mess of a video for you to first decide to click on because do you guys ever like do that thing where you know you put something in a safe spot so that you will remember where it is whenever you need it again and then you put it in such a safe spot that you kind of forget where it is and you can never find it again so apply that to like video planning ideas and you kind of have today's video <laughs> i've got a little like um like a little planner that i write down my video ideas in for every week and i was just like on a roll i guess whenever i planned out my videos for this month and I wrote down that I was going to do a video about journaling, but that was it. Like, that's all I wrote was journaling. Nothing about what type of journaling, what I wanted to go into, nothing more elaborate than that. And I guess I could have played it cool and pretended like I knew what I was doing, but I like to keep it real and honest, and there you go. I have no idea what I was initially thinking for this video. So, journaling. I, I do it. <laughs> um, one of my New Year's resolutions, if you watched that video, was to journal at least three times a week. And I just use a plain college ruled notebook to do that in because they're cheap and they're simple and I can just like keep this with me if I wanted to. Like if I want to throw it in my purse, I can throw it in my purse. If I want to throw it in a bag when I go on a trip, I can do that. And it's just not, I don't know. I know a lot of people like to make their journals really special and pretty and all that stuff. And if that's something you like to do, cool. You do you. But I just like to use a plain old notebook. And this one actually, I don't know if you guys can read it very well, but it actually says grief counseling on it. Because whenever I first started my online grief counseling from when my dad died, it had a lot of things for like journal activities and stuff. So I thought that that's what I was going to mainly use this notebook for but those have kind of dwindled down to where it's more just like motivational things to kind of like keep you going and keep you in a good headspace and stuff so now i just use this as a normal journal where i try to kind of just brain dump into it about three times a week ish so yeah that's that's what this guy is for it's definitely helpful uh, if you don't journal i would definitely suggest it it takes a little while to get into i'm not gonna lie it wasn't one of those things that was super easy for me at first and I just had to make myself stick with it and it's a lot easier now to just kind of open up and just spill everything out into a notebook instead of keeping it all inside in my head not knowing how to say it to people things like that or burdening other people with it even you know so it's it's much easier now you just have to push yourself break down that wall to yourself and put it out there. So, my other type of journal, I guess, because the word journal is in the title, is I do have a bullet journal. Um, this one is a hardback because it's something that I just wanted to have a little bit more smaller and compact and not flimsy. I feel like the bigger notebooks, like, even if it's flimsy, it's not gonna, like, super fall apart, tear up, anything like that. Whereas the smaller ones, I always feel like they get torn up a lot easier. So yeah, this is my bullet journal. Um, it's just simple, normal lined paper. And then I go through and I've done my stuff for March already. So I've got my little March page there. And then in mine right now, I just track like any new foods that I try, my spending, I've got a weight tracker in here. Um, I've got a habit tracker that I can write things down on. And then I've got a food diary where I did a food diary in February where I just like kept track of what I ate every day. But I think for March, I'm going to split the page down the middle and keep track of what I eat and then how it kind of makes me feel like physically, emotionally, all sorts of things. So I can kind of see if any of that lines up and maybe make some changes based on those little data points or whatever. So yeah, um, I can definitely do a more in-depth bullet journaling video. If that is something that you guys are interested in, leave me a comment down below. 
um, I might do it anyway just because it's something new that I'm interested in and I think it's kind of cool and I didn't know how I would feel about it so I tested it out in February and I actually really enjoyed it. It's fun to like fill in all of your little calendars and different things like that. So yeah. Yeah. I don't really know what else to say in this video because like I said all I wrote down was journaling and I don't know what I was initially thinking or planning on talking about more in depth. Maybe there wasn't anything more in depth. Maybe that was it, was just letting you guys know how I journal, what I think of it, and if I would suggest it to you guys or not, and I definitely would. I definitely would. You don't even have to do it on paper. I personally have like this real love for pen and paper and just having things in front of me. Like I feel better getting things out of my head when I can write it down and see it and like save it and go back and read it, all that stuff. And I mean for you, you may be just fine going to your computer and typing something out in, you know, some sort of like live journal or blog spot or some sort of little like personal area. Um, or even just a notepad on your computer, like super personal so that you don't risk it being leaked to the rest of the world. Anything like that. Maybe that works for you. If it does, try it out that way. For me it doesn't quite work, I don't know why, I think it's because I journal in bed a lot, like right before I go to bed, I'll just kind of like get everything that's in my head out onto paper and that helps and I don't like to have my computer in front of me like that close to going to sleep, so maybe that's it. I don't really know. I don't know with a lot of theories. My brain is really good at that, so <laughs> anyway, I guess that is it for this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns. Um, anything, feel free to leave me a comment down below and I will definitely get back to you if and when I can. And yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!